for joining. This is the Deanna Troop Show. I am Deanna Troop, and today's uh, video is a little bit different than the ones I normally do. I am submitting an application for a grant provided by Joann's, and they requested a video um, answering a few questions. And if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my journal, so I make sure I remember to answer all the questions. So, um, if you like um, seeing this type of content, just remember to like, subscribe, and uh, comment below about what you thought about the video today. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. So the first uh, thing I need to address is what inspired me to start uh, creating? Well, um, I guess you would say it's literally in my blood. I come from a long line of crafters. My mother, uh, my mother sews, and my grandmother, uh, my father's mom, is was. Uh, she's no longer with us, but she was extremely, extremely creative. She uh, she sewed. She's actually the one who taught me to crochet. I made the hat that I'm wearing. Um, so I guess you'd say what inspired me to start creating with my family. So uh, the next question is how will the Joanne Grant benefit my personal life, organization, or business? So this grant will tr be a huge help to me as um, it will allow me to buy a ton of supplies to help me get my business going and really be able to fulfill a, a lot of orders um, without really breaking the bank because I'll have this grant. And uh, that will affect my personal life because once I get my crafting business really up and rolling, then I'll be able to uh, quit my customer service job that I have and have more time freedom. So that is the answer to that question. Now the next question here is, what obstacles have you had to endure or are enduring as a minority crafter? Oh boy, I could do a whole video on that question by itself. However, um, they've only given me three to five minutes for this video, so I am going to have to be brief in addressing that question. So one of the biggest things I have had to endure has been discrimination in the workplace. As you can see, I have lovely locks. I'm going to kind of make sure they get in the frame here. And that in and of itself, in addition to just being black and female, having locks adds a interesting dynamic to workplace uh, politics or issues, as you will. I've been turned down for jobs. I was literally sitting in a lady's office, and she literally told me to my face that I couldn't work there because I had locks. Now, mind you, the, um, so I, I live in Atlanta. And this was during a time where we didn't know it yet, but we were at the beginning of a major ice storm and people were calling out left and right. But yet you're telling me I can't work for you because I have locks. Okay, so that happened. Also, um, I got turned down for a promotion because I had locks. Um, so that's one of the things that I've had to endure being a minority. Um, and so... The, so that is my video for Joann's. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to live while you hustle. And I will see you on the next video.